What's up guys, Randy here. Today is April 18, 2016. Uh, I'm still on my road towards 8% body fat. Uh, I do wanna make a quick update video about the Sculpt Aim uh, software upgrade, okay? I know some of you guys been asking me because you know that I use Sculpt Aim all the time. Now, um, as you guys know, I love Sculpt Aim, I love the company, and I love the product, okay? It's been working for me, you know, all the way up to the upgrade or the software upgrade. And here's what, what I um, encountered. Okay, so my thoughts about the upgrade are not good. And what happened is that, you know, like I took my body fat the day before the upgrade and it said I was like 19%. And then as soon as the upgrade happened, I went to 24% body fat. And uh, the muscle quality, they changed it. You know, instead of it being uh, what it was before, now it's like from a zero to a hundred scale. Uh, so like, you know, 20% or 30% or 40, 50% and you know, a hundred would be like really muscular. So I kind of didn't like that. Uh, the interface doesn't really matter to me too much. You know, they changed the colors a little bit, but that doesn't bother me. What bothers me is that the numbers are all out of whack. Um, I did hit a plateau. Uh, because I stopped losing bo uh, body weight, but I haven't gained any weight. But just yesterday, I took my body fat with the sculpt aim, and it told me that I had 27% body fat. Okay, now guys, I was 27% body fat about four months ago, and I weighed about 205 or something like that. I'm 190. There's no way I gained. What is it, almost 10% body fat in just a month from the last time I took my body fat. So, Sculpt Aim is a great product, but it's no longer something that I can rely on because the upgrade completely threw the numbers out of whack. There's no way I put on 10% body fat in a month, plus I haven't gained any weight. So there's no way that that is accurate any longer, okay? Now, if you see the rest of my videos where I do the sculpting test, you can see where, you know, I, I go from, you know, 27% to like 26, 24, and down the line. I was down to 18 to 19% body fat last time I had did the test. Um, I never made a video on it, but that's where I was at. And then it completely threw it off when they changed the update, and it says I'm 24. And then yesterday, I'm 27. Guys, I'm still losing weight. <laughs> There's no way I'm just gaining all this body fat. So I don't want to keep going too long. I love Sculpt Aim. I love the product. I love the company. But it is no longer a reliable source in my mind. Because, again, the numbers are completely out of whack. It, don't, it does not make sense. So my alternative to this is I bought some calipers, body fat calipers. So I'll be taking my body fat with that. But I'm upset because here I have a product or a device that I paid $200 for and I can no longer use it. Because yeah, it's gonna give me a reading but it's completely out of whack. There's no way I'm 27% body fat right now. So that's my thoughts about it. Uh, again, I'm not talking bad about the company or the product, I'm just upset about the software upgrade because now I have a product that I cannot even use. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. If you have any comments, leave them below. Um, if you feel like me, let me know. If you have any questions, you know, let me know and I'll do my best to help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next